It's time to talk American football on Highland Radio once again. I'm delighted to say uh, Paul O'Donnell, who is the chairperson and more importantly, the quarterback of the Donegal Dairy Vipers, joining us on the programme. Uh, you're welcome to Highland, Paul. Hi, Ashin. Thanks for having me along. Great yep. to get a chance this, to speak. Yeah, this might be the, the first time it's... Well, I've spoke to you anyway, I think, Paul. On, on, it is. On the, uh, on the it so. is. You, you uh, haven't had the privilege. <laughs> well, listen, you're the man in the know, so you are, uh, according to Cahill Kern, anyway. Um, listen, the Vipers, you have a big weekend ahead, but before we look at the final of the competition that you are playing, uh, COVID obviously played its part. No All-Ireland League fees this year, Paul? No, nothing this year. It's been put on hold, really, for the last year and a half. Ashin and, you know, on, on and, the, and the league itself, we, we had no choice, do you know what I mean? As much as everybody in the league and the, the, the board wanted to actually drive on and get some football going because it's it's important and you can ask anybody who plays the game in, in the, the, the whole of Ireland, it's very important. So we, we couldn't get anything done. Our hands were tied, unfortunately. We tried all we can. We even had a, a, an online tournament, which went really, really well. That was probably the best we could do in, in the situation. So made the most of it, uh, hopefully strengthening now and sort of ready to go again now next. I think it'll be March, hopefully, if, if things go as planned or as, as they hope, it's, yeah. it's, it's going to come about. But no, it's all good. We do we do have a wee bit, and from a league perspective, we have the flag football starting now, the flag football league starting now in uh, September. And we also have the, the, the youth football. There's about seven or eight teams involved in that nationally. So that, that's going to start in uh, October time. So... A wee, a wee bit of football, uh, but the kid is our, is our bread and butter. That's what we hope to get back to, you know, in competition ways uh, next year. Yeah. Well, in the meantime, you've got yourselves involved in, a, in an Invitational Cup, uh, four sides from up this part to off, off the island of Ireland. Uh, yeah. There's yourselves, the Antrim Jets, who you meet in the final. Uh, there's also the Northern Ireland Razorbacks, is that right, and the Causeway Giants? That's right. The the two two teams they're playing for the, the third place uh, now at 11 o'clock on, on Sunday, and Ourselves, the Vipers, and the uh, Adrian Jets are playing at half two, all at uh, Prehen, um playing fields in Derry, like you know. So definitely come along if you get a chance. It's, 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 the, the games have been great. We've been playing for the last four to six weeks. We've had about three games, and they've been really, really tight, really competitive, and a great day out. Do you know what I mean? The weather was fantastic for a load of them. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we get the same now for Sunday in Derry. So, um, and you won your three matches, Paul. We what? You won your three matches. Well, we won. We won two of them. One of one of the the matches we're talking about COVID earlier. One of the, the our second game against the Razorbacks, we had to sort of cancel the last minute due to COVID, because uh, a couple of guys on the the Razorbacks team where they they tested positive, so we we had to cancel that. So by default, we we won it. Uh, I like to think it was thirty nil as as what it, it normally be assigned. So I'm taking the credit for four touchdown passes. Uh, Two to myself, why not? Yeah. Sure, make the most of it. What was the first game like against the Antrim Jets? And are you expecting something similar now come the final against them on Sunday? Do you know what? And, and it was the same two against the, the, the first game that actually kicked the whole series off, which was the Razorbacks versus the, the, the Giants, Causeway Giants. It was very rusty. We haven't played in about a year, year and a half. So it took a wee bit of time to uh, sort of get the ball rolling. And then... Probably the worst start that that this is my first game as a quarterback, but the worst start we could have as the very first uh, series of plays with the Jets against ourselves. They ran on like I think it was like a seventy-yard touchdown or something like that. There, great bit of work, and it was off to a bad start. But look, we slowly got there. Uh, we started sort of the second half a lot better. Um, we were down about. I think it was 13, 13, six. And then we, we sort of got a few drives together in the, in the second half and sort of 16 on answer points. So we ended up winning 22, 13, which was great. Nice. Expecting the same this, this time. I don't know. The Jets are a great team. Now they've a really good side under, uh, Donald McCluskey. Uh, he's their head coach. So they, they've been going a, a few years, maybe a year or two less than ourselves, but they're, a, it's a tough team and we've always played, you know, a good game against them. We actually, we played them here in Letterkenny a few years ago as well too, down in uh, College de Isla. So uh, expecting a tough game, expecting a tough game. There's nothing sort of, you take nothing for granted in this game. Like, you know, it's just, it's on the day. So we, we'll do our best. We'll do all we can and stick to what the coaches are telling us to do. So hopefully we'll be coming out the other end holding that cup in there. So 
I'm going to ask you a question now. Tom Brady is the oldest quarterback in in America. Um, would would you agree you're the oldest quarterback in Ireland? <laughs> I probably <laughs> am. To be honest, actually, uh, no. You haven't been the quarterback for long, have you? No, this this is really this will be my technically my third game playing quarterback uh, ever. Uh, so I I'll. I'll I don't mind taking the 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 sort of cap or the 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 title of the oldest quarterback. I, I don't know about the best quarterback in, in Ireland. There's a lot of great talent out there, like you know. Uh, and, and one of them is is actually against is playing against us now on Sunday. It's Scott McLean, great great player, got a, a cannon of an arm on him, and he knows the game. So it'll it'll be tough. It'll be good to see. It'll be good to see. Yeah. And what about the Vipers? How you fix squad wise? Uh, I know that we have used guys on every year, and is are always making the call out when trials come and training to get new people in. Um, in this COVID eighteen months that would uh, that, that would have, um, how's it been? Have you have you got many more additions in, Paul? And has it been kindy the whole situation? Has it with, with players coming in? It's it's been okay. We've we've done all right. We've done as as we normally would expect. You you know you'll get a lot of people who come onto the, the 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 tryouts, and you know when there's a wee bit of contact involved, you you, you sort of you, you sort of you, you whittle a few of them down. So we we got about six or seven there this year. Some of and there's good split too, which I was happy to see between Donegal and Derry. Uh, so we've a few guys coming through. We have one guy in particular. Um, big JP, he is he's American and he is an absolute beast. Do you know what I mean? So it's second nature has, but the other guys we have the likes of Big Mike, uh, Cowan, we have um, uh, Leroy, uh, and a few other guys too. Aaron, Aaron McCaffrey's come back and there too. So these are all guys that are have got the talent, have got the skill, and they're just sort of finding their feet with it, like you know. But they're doing a fantastic job. So yeah, we're we're very happy with with how the the, the rookies have gone this year. Um, from Donegal perspective, we have obviously the, the man himself, Darren Donaghy. He is uh, he's the, the only man that 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 is, is in front of me, and he does a great job. He's the center, so he passes me the ball. And I'm saying about JP being a beast. Darren is not far behind him either. He's about of an animal too. Uh, but on a controlled way, but on a controlled way. So it's all it's all good. Still looking to promote again for next year, starting again now in October time. So to kick off the season, hopefully in 2022 on uh, around March, normally around St. Patrick's Day time. You're looking for more beasts and animals then, are you? <laughs> always, always looking for beasts and animals. Always looking for beasts and animals. <laughs> uh, you're, of course, a part of the board as well, uh, the yes. governing board, the AFI. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Paul. What's America? Where's American football at in Ireland at the moment? American football is in a good place. Um, COVID, as I say, sort of hit, hit every sport, not not just American football. But there's a lot of good work that's gone behind the the scenes that is maybe that you don't hear about. Um, you know, last year, say we couldn't really play any any sort of competition, any sports at all. So we 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 developed uh, an online tournament and one of our players actually won the the the, the ps4 version of it um busty quan uh darren quan so we, we also have the, the the champion in ireland for the the uh online sort of madden series um from a sport perspective and development we and the afa we've, we've got a whole lot of new guys coming on the team uh and we're really looking to push and develop and sort of get get the the the, the sport more widely sort of played and, and all parts of Ireland, like you know, next year as well, we're involved with the um, bringing uh, a college team to Dublin. So there'll be a big game now, big college game now next August time. So there's a lot of good stuff uh, happening and a lot of sort of exciting stuff coming up. The flag football is coming up. You know, we're 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 talking about you know there's there's IFAF, which is the uh, International Federation for American Football. You know, we're looking at flag tournaments. We're looking at uh, developing our national team, the Irish Wolfhounds, as well, too. Hopefully, we can get a, a game, COVID depend this year with them against sort of one of the European teams. So all good stuff uh, coming up and a lot of work involved, but a lot of good work is sort of getting done. So it's, yep. it's going well in, in summary. Good. Finally, then, Paul, uh, one more shout just for the games that's happening on Sunday in Prehen. Okay, so it's uh, we have at 11 o'clock in the morning, we have the Cosby Giants playing the, the NA Razorbacks for the third place uh, game playoff in that. And then the final end is at 2.30. 
and that's between Donegal Dairy Vipers versus the Antrim Jets. Come along, listen, we have we have cheerleaders there. We we tighten cheer and either a local uh, cheerleading team. We have the domestic game, which is the sort of the the, the new and hot sort of pod, podcast in Ireland for American football. Um, and we just have all our wee bits and pieces happening on the day. So hopefully it'll be a good day. Uh, it'll be a good day out for the family and all the rest. Really looking forward to it. And hopefully we can we can give uh, the, the the local dairy boys uh, something to cheer about. And Donegal, of course, too. Like you know. Yeah, okay, we look forward to it. The best of luck with uh, the competition finale at the weekend, Paul. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Arshin. Thanks a lot.